Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Addington News. Of course, we race again this Friday night. Last week, we had the all-important road to the IRT New Zealand Cup kickoff with the win of Mossdale Ben in the Morris Holmes Vars. Brought to you by Allied Security. Of course, gives the hopes another runner in the great race, but it gives Ben Hope the opportunity to have a drive in the 120th running of the IRT New Zealand Cup. We leave August behind, of course one of the highlights to come out of that, Riley Harrison winning with Out of My Way. Of course Riley works for the Dunbarn of Robert and Jenna. She's always a delight to have around the stables and so pleased that she was able to get her first winning drive here at Addington Raceway. Uh, 527's our first this week, and we've got tickets on sale now for IRT New Zealand Trotting Cup Day. Go to addington.co.nz. All of those options are available to you. But this Friday night, young man from Awamaru, yes, his name is Brad Williamson, has several chances. I had a chance to have a chat to him about those. Luckily to be joined by Brad Williamson on Addington News. Uh, Brad, a, another successful season thus far and a few nice horses about to step out. You must be pleased with the way things are going, driving-wise in particular, but this training cape is really stepping up for you. Yeah, things have been going pretty well, uh, Greg. Um, no, we're happy with how things are going and, um, yeah, driving uh, quite a few of Dad's horses as well now has been a bonus. Um and his team's going great as well. So, uh, no, we're a pretty happy camp. All right. What about this driving 440-odd winners now? You're about to hone in on the 500 in the next year, one would think, to join your brothers in that arena and then hopefully double that again. And, well, three boys in the 1,000 win club. I suppose it sounded like a pipe dream when you were 12, 13, 14, but... In reality, mate, if you keep on this upward trajectory, then there's no reason why you can't get there. Yeah, well, it's a, but there's potential for it, Greg. But um, I'd say it's probably going to take me a little bit longer than it did for uh, Maddie and Nathan, to be brutally honest. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, creeping there slowly. The the uh, the hairs have both beat the tortoise in this race. What about training wise? How many do you have in work and? I know your dad's been an, an enormous influence on all of you guys' lives, but um, it must be great to tap into that wonderful knowledge of his. It is, yeah. Dad's a huge part of uh, my stable and um, uh, still uh, regularly helps me, Nathan and Maddie, with uh, training and driving and anything related with horses. Um, um, I get to see him uh, every day, but, uh, you know, I know that Nathan and Maddie still um, pick up the phone and call him regularly if there's a... Uh, something where they need to um, tap into a bit of that um, old knowledge um, of dad's. Uh, and, and you know, he's always happy to help us all and uh, anyone for that matter. So, yeah, it's, it's we've been really lucky in that regard that we've, um, uh, you know, had that uh, sort of grounding where um, dad's always happy to help us out and um, point us in the right direction uh, if, if need be. All right, let's see if we can point the punters in the right direction on Friday night because you've got a good book of drives, many chances. Let's get through them. Ain't no angel in the first. She's won two of the last five. She's been the punter's friend sometimes and sometimes not. Yeah, she is a nice mare, um, Greg, and a, and a lovely racehorse. But, um, yeah, she's we sort of targeted that um, winter rewards series final with her when she was racing through the winter and she was able to win the final and put in a super run on the night. And, um, you know, the, the step up in grade's been quite noticeable. Uh, she's gone from, uh, you know, she's been racing some race some really tidy horses last start and meets a really tidy field again on Friday night. So uh, she's not a horse where I'd be probably um, having a punt on her in the next couple of starts. But um, when she drops back into a uh, into a uh, slightly um, weaker field and um, she's also a better horse over a little bit more distance, I think the 2-6 suits her more than the sprint trips do. Um, at this stage of her career. So um, her main target um, for a race we'll try and set her for will probably be that South of Waitaki race um, on show day. Uh, I think she ran third in it last year. So, um, yeah, that's probably the main target heading forward. And between now and then, um, we'll try and just look after her and poke her in a couple of races where we're, uh, although we're not getting money, she can race in some nice races and come back down into a grade where she's uh, more than competitive. Let's go to race number two, Kenny's Charm. What did you make of her first up? Yeah, it was a nice first up run, Greg. Um, she's a filly with nice manners. Um, yeah, I, I, she's she's got no problems with the uh, with the mobile. She's she's a little bit on the green side as she was showing and things uh, at Omri last start and 
when she was in front having a good look around. But, um, yeah, she's very comp- competitive in a maiden race, and she is an each-way chance, I think, on Friday. But yep, Maddie got the better of you there. And the 1980 Barrier 7, what does that sort of, uh, what do you make of that in terms of uh, race pattern for her? Yeah, she 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 probably is a filly, which is better. Uh, she is better uh, following. But, um, you know, as it panned out the other day, we ended up in front. And uh, whether we do or not on Friday, I'm not sure. But um, we'll probably look to ro- roll forward out of the gate and, and try and put her in a positive position. And um, if she can be driven with one run, we will. But um, more than likely, we'll, uh, seeing as though she's she looks a good chance in the race, um, yeah, we'll, we'll put her in the race and uh, see if she can, um, you know, uh, return to Metro value. Aroha Kenny could not have been more impressive than she was in a fresh condition. As much as that performance was great, was it uh, the trip to Australia? Has that really made her? Well, uh, yeah, it was good and bad in a way, Greg. Um, like, obviously, things didn't go to plan for us over there. Um, the uh, Australian fillies uh, were, uh, you know, outstandingly um, probably, uh, you know, they were. Yeah, they've just got some super fillies over there. And, um, you know, we, we didn't think it was going to be easy, but probably got a bit of a shock as to how good they actually were. There were not just one, but three or four of them there getting home in 56 and that sort of thing as two-year-olds. And, um, yeah, they, they had every bit, bit as much class as uh, what we thought that she did. But, um, you know, Dad, Dad's done the right thing, gave her a good break when she got home and uh, she strengthened up and, uh, she's looking like a really nice, big, strong filly at the moment, and she's in a really good space. And um, she's yeah been happy with her, happy as with her work this prep leading into uh, that first up run, and uh, she she won really well with her leg in the air, really. And um, she's not got a great draw on Friday, but and she's got a couple of really nice uh, fillies to race against, but uh, she's still an each way chance because she is a really nice filly. And she's got good speed as well. So if she does get any luck, she does follow out uh, Ruck off. But there is only one other horse, uh, not as bad as I look on the second row. So hopefully a little bit of luck with her. Tabasco in race number six, first up run good. Decent sort of a field though, Bradley. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's um, he's uh, got a really nice race first up. We're thrilled with him. Um, he he run home a really good uh, last 800 metres, was pretty slick with him. So yeah. Um, yeah, he, he just meets the field here where there's uh, two or three other horses or perhaps three or four other horses that are that have probably got the wood on him. But um, when he when he drops back into a race uh, where he's in a similar field to what he was the other day, um, he'd be a very strong winning chance. But in a, in a race like this, he's probably an outside first four chance. But I do think he's probably uh, a horse where uh, he'll be very hard to beat next start. All right, he's a horse we can definitely follow, and you're right, the likes of Charlie Brown and Sinbad, and, you know, these are horses that are going to be going around in the derby. Not only that, they're going to be competitive in the derby, so, and Bluto's obviously yep. a very nice horse too. Domination's call in race number nine. Might be the right sort of race this week. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's been in some strong races lately, Greg. He, um, he surprised us a little bit um, towards the end of this prep where he's grabbed a couple of really nice wins, and uh, he's probably surprised me a little bit as to um, how much he's improved over this last three or four months but um, yeah he's just once again he's um, got some got some points for that uh, last one that he had at Addington and um, <clears throat> he's been put off now off the back mark here and uh, in a great big field uh, it won't be easy for him but um, he's one to follow uh, when he drops into a slightly more uh, suitable race and uh, yes he's, he will do a lot more winning in the future he's a lovely racehorse but um you know, it is pretty pretty tough at Eddington uh, off these big handicaps unless you've got a bit of X-Factor. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of X-Factor, I see Dad's having a drive in that race. Now Golden Kenny getting the colours out again. <laughs> Winding back the <laughs> yeah, clock. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, no, she's, uh, she's a nice mare too, but she's probably a victim of uh, uh, being quite talented. I think she won about three out of her first four or five starts and, and jumped up into a pretty tough grade. So uh, she's... Uh, yeah, she's probably up against it a little bit with her inexperience, but um, yeah, hopefully Dad can uh, point her in the right direction. I'm sure he probably will. Hey, mate, you're honing in on almost 100 wins as a trainer too, which is flowing around when you think uh, you've only been doing it for four or so seasons. So uh, congratulations on the way things have been going there. Thanks so much for your time on Addington News and uh, all the best on Friday night. Yeah, thanks very much, Craig. So a big thank you to Brad Williamson taking his time out during the week to talk about his chances on Friday night. We'll see you trackside. The first of 10 goes at 5.27.